OMG guys, urgent breaking news, the Hubble telescope is stranded, I don't know, the telescope isn't working or something right now, but it's in, it's in orbit, we gotta go bring it down, we gotta go rescue it so they can repair it or, I don't know, put it in a museum or whatever, but we gotta, we gotta go get it out of orbit, we gotta go bring it down safely back to Kerbin, so there's obviously only one team that I can think of that can get this job done. On a lonely planet, slow to spring its- Wait, no, wrong channel, no, that's, that's, that, that's the wrong one, no, we, we do starships here, that's kind of our, our, our thing, yes, you know, pilot starship guy, you know, right, the memes, the memes, anyway, yeah, so, we're gonna be rescuing the Hubble with the starship, um, I figured this would be good timing for this type of video. Actually, I thought of it because I was looking on Twitter and there's, you know, the Hubble's been having issues lately. And if you're watching this at time of recording, it had the, the software issues, but I think it's back up online. But some people are saying, hey, you could just, I think Elon even commented on being able to like grab stuff out of warp with Starship, which is totally a viable use case for this very epic grain silo that we have just launched right now, uh, which is now crossing around five kilometers. Would also like to quickly say, I realized halfway uh, through making this video that someone else of uh, Carnassa you can see right up here put a link there I actually also made this video a while ago about three weeks ago actually totally forgot about that until halfway through making this video but in my defense um, a his uses RSS um, B his is super super modded and mine is stock and C um, this is his super heavy landing and starship landing uh, you know <laughs> and there's my staging right so I guess it's all bad it's all explosions right um, not actually trying to throw shade at him. His video is pretty good, even though his Hubble model, his Hubble is super tiny, um, for some reason. But, <laughs> yeah, great channel. You guys go check out Carnassa. But, yeah, I feel like this video is justified because it's, it's stock and his is modded and stuff. And I really didn't want to have to throw away all the effort I made making this video because I realized after it had already been made. So, just pretend, I don't know, man. Carnassa's great. Anyway, um, yeah, so, this is supposed to be the realistic way and look at my terrible grid fins, right? Um, so these grid fins have a re real reason for being terrible. Um, just the part count of this thing is like 450 parts. And if we add like three, it, it'd be close to another 200 parts probably for the grid fins. And KSP would just lag ugh, like crazy. Yeah, just no bueno. So we're just gonna, we're gonna go for really basic grid fins. But I have the updated grid fin design, you know, the one where it's like, uh, they have, they're not like in perfect 90 degree increments apart from each other, if you know what I mean? Um, so I guess that's kind of cool. And light up our raptors and then come in for our landing burn here and then bring her in for a very epic touchdown omg are we gonna make it i didn't put any fins on this i probably should have because this thing is very tippy as you can see when we come in for a landing touchdown oh tippy 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 but it actually doesn't tip over so that is very epic you know it also is very epic if you enjoyed the video the subscribe oh my gosh i don't know could we get to 20k by the end of the month we can't the most subscribers i've ever gotten a month i think is 4,000 and we're trying to get to 7,000 this month so probably not gonna do that but I don't know I can dream I don't know you should become a member too or a patreon because I want I want a plane so you know <laughs> I probably am gonna save up YouTube money to be honest until I can afford a plane so thanks Pika um if you can give me I know if you guys know because the guy donated like all the money to me uh during a few streams but yeah thank you everyone who has supported the channel you guys are super appreciated as well as anyone joined our discord as well uh yeah I've got a fun community there anyway um so yeah, we are just burning our rat vax right now on our way to an orbit to go rendezvous and capture and land the Hubble. Uh, it's gonna be very epic. We have a little opening door of the, the, the you know, the Starship's door will fl flip open. Um, that thing actually turned out to be a massive meme and turned out to be just Kraken City or Kraken Heaven or whatever. It by far the hardest bit of this video, which it really shouldn't have been because I, uh, I've had this craft for a long time now. It's been since March, I think I made this craft actually. Uh, me and my friend both kind of teamed up on it. Um, but yeah, I, I reworked the, the opening thing because it was way too overcomplicated. And I tried to simplify it, and turns out I broke it. Not really broke it because it, it didn't really even work in its original design, so I don't know. Yeah, and it was super unrealistic. I mean, not like this, this new design is super realistic. Because, you know, the real Starship, it, like, if you saw the, the, um, the picture, um, I think it was, uh, Mary who took the picture of the starship with, like, the missing, uh, they, like, cut a hole out of the nose cone or, like, the nose, the cargo structure, and Elon said there was, like, a pathfinder, um, trying to figure out how they could do the, the door thing, and it's just a, just a hole in the side of it, you can't really do that with fairings, and I would put the picture on, but, you know, copyright and stuff, um, so, yeah, we can't, the real thing has, like, a little alligator door that'll open up. I act, my thing you'll see in just a second, it, it flips the entire nose up, which is really the only way to do it in KSP, because that's how KSP works. 
Yeah, I got one little. The the, the um the wolf found engines with um waterfall the plume mod is it's pretty epic. But anyway, we're now getting ready to do our rondes vues with our Hubble. Um, and then ignore the giant debris field you may see during certain shots during this uh, docking process. Um, yeah, that, yep, no one knows why that's there. That wasn't because of an exploded starship. That, nope, that's not why that's there. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and drain the fuel out of our top tank there in the nose cone just because it needs to make it a little bit lighter because the hinges really have a tough time. Um, and yeah, it, it, this thing is really crackiny. So let's go ahead and unlock them and then open and. Ooh, there it goes. It opened. It can be a little bit scary. I, I forgot to turn off SAS. SAS needs to be off during this, but or else it's going to try and turn while you're opening it, and then it's just going to explode itself. But here's our Hubble, our very epic Hubble, which, I don't know, needs maintenance or something, or needs to get a museum. Here I am going to double check my action group, because I forgot what action groups I set up, and then proceed to fail immediately at using the action groups. Um, so, um, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and get our uh, cold gas thrusters on the Hubble turned on and then we can start making our way over towards the big giant grain silo. Very epic. <clears throat> okay, and, and I'm still trying to figure out how to use the action groups, even though I made this craft like an hour prior to filming the video. So there we go. There we go. I don't know if the solar panels can retract in the hull, but in this one they can. I mean, it could fit um, with the solar panels extended, but it'd be kind of weird because I feel like during re-entry when you're pulling like 5Gs or whatever, the solar panels would probably snap off. Uh, realistically, so I don't know. Even though I totally didn't just snap off something just a second ago, that didn't happen. Um, but anyway, um, so we're now going to consider uh, kind of coming in at for a very ridiculous type docking, and we can uh, bring her aboard the uh, aboard the aboard the starship. There, and line her up, and I'm proceeding to fire my thrusters in the wrong way. There, now we're working it out. And we can start to fire them in the, you know, correct direction. And uh, actually start making our way towards the ship. And then inside of the docking bay or the payload bay or whatever. And then we can get ready to do our deorbit burn. And then our landing with the Hubble inside is going to be super epic. Definitely won't be any explosions. If anyone says there's going to be explosions, they're lying to you. There will be definitely, definitely no explosions. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to be. But anyway, um, kind of cool shot if it kind of starting to make its way inside of the payload bay. We don't want to hit any of the walls. That'd be very bad. I mean, anyway, here we go. Going to go ahead and kind of miss the docking port initially. Um, and then we will uh, just kind of do a little bit of correction. And then we will get ourselves kind of whacking into the side. I'm totally sure that's how they do it in real life. That definitely just like smashed the payload into the side of the... <laughs> I bet the ship will need maintenance by the time it comes in for a land. But anyway, here's our docking. Playing one time speed i know the frame rate is not great but you know that part count right and plop there it is we are now attached and you need to close up the nose cone um which will definitely not have any explosions definitely and there we go i'm pressing buttons with action groups and act buttons and buttons and i'm screwing everything up and cracking dun 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 at least these explosions are entertaining <laughs> there we go attempt number two at that um yeah, there we go. And that time it works. Very graceful closing of the nose cone. Boop. All right, so now we're all set up, ready to do our deorbit burn, and like I said, our landing. So I'm just gonna make sure that the hinges are locked, and then it'll be time to get ourselves set up. Like I said, for that their landing. So it's gonna time warp until the KSC is out the daylight side of the planet, because no one likes landing at the night. That is boring. Um, and now, since we're actually at around a 500 by 500 kilometer orbit, it's going to be actually quite a bit of delta V to deorbit down to the KSC. And it's going to be a pretty steep deorbit, too, which also causes a lot of fun issues. Issues, man. Big issues. Bad. Big issues, right? You'll see in a second what I mean. Um, so there you go. Coming in through 300, 200, one, kind of a little bit of an eclipse there, which is kind of nifty. But here we are. You can see our steeper coming in here. This is, I mean, we're just, oh, we're over the KS, like the little peninsula that the KSC is on right now. And we are not even out of space yet, so and we're going 2,500 meters a second, so just a jolly old time here. Um, I actually basically have to use fuel to control the thing, like transferring fuel, because any control input, as you will see, will lead to rapid instability, as here I'm trying to control it, and then I make inputs, and then... Lag spike. That's really the painful bit, is those lag spikes, because you know it's about to happen. You know, you know what's about to happen, and it's not going to be fun. Wee explosion! Okay, so let's try that again. So basically, the way I had to do this was basically, so first of all, I went for a little bit flatter of a pitch, just to try and arrest the descent rate just a little bit. 
And then also, I just I didn't make any control inputs there. Once we started getting into the high G portion of the entry, I just let the cr just basically rolled with it, and whatever happened happened. That those fids, I honestly thought were gonna fly off, but they didn't. Think yeah, I think the Hubble was actually what was blowing up because it was a nose cone. I think that was detonating. Detonating. You can actually see it starting to kind of like clip through the thing. I think it was well, something might not have been auto shuttered or something, or maybe the docking port just couldn't hold the two together. But anyway. Um, because of our little bit flatter of a descent angle, we have overshot the KSC a little bit. But luckily, in KSP, starships work like planes for some reason. So we actually can glide ourselves um, back towards the KSC. A little bit of a balancing act here because you want to be able to get horizontal speed during the belly flop here. But you don't want to get too much because then it's going to be really hard to do the flip because you'll be like flipping and you're like flying 100 meters a second and it'll just be ugh. Um, so, um... I and mean, let's just say I didn't get this first attempt. It'll be painfully obvious when you see a quick save. A very a very bad... I didn't even try to mask it. You'll see I make a quick save, and then it'll, like, jump weirdly, and it's like, whoa, I wonder what happened there. Um, <laughs> here we are. So, yeah, um, we're coming in basically right next to the space plane hangar I chose as my landing target. It seemed like a pretty cool place to go. We're coming in, basically almost uh, canceled out most of our horizontal speed at this point, and we are going to light up the three Raptor engines. Go and do our flip maneuver. And then once the flip maneuver is complete, we are going to lose a little bit of speed and then drop down to just two Raptor engines for the final portion of our landing burn. Go ahead and drop the landing legs now, trying to keep the speed under control. Don't want to come in too fast. I also don't want to float around for 10 days because we will very quickly run out of fuel if we do that. But uh, yeah, so here we are coming in. And we down. There we go. Pretty butter landing if I do say so myself. I don't know, maybe... You can also start to see that eclipse starting to move in. KSP's lighting kind of breaks when the eclipse is start, but whatever. You know, it's like a 10-year-old game, so I, you know. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and fly inside. You can see the Hubble is now safe and secure in the Starship. So that means our mission is complete, and we can end the video. So big thanks to all the channel members. Big thanks to all the Patreons. And I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. I'd like to see you next time. Please rate or comment to the video. Once again, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. And bye.